Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial for the Steam Deck. My name is Khaled, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can backup your Steam Deck internal storage drive, just in case you wanted to keep it safe when you modify your system, or if you want to upgrade your storage, or even if you would like to try Windows on Deck, although nobody recommending the experience on it. But for whatever the reason would be, you should always keep backup for your data in case something happened. To start, we would need the following. An empty USB memory stick like 8GB of storage, an external USB hard drive for saving the backup, and a compatible USB-C hub to connect our devices on the Steam Deck. Also recommended to have a mouse and keyboard which would be used on the cloning software and would be connected via the USB hub. Since Steam Deck is actually a PC, things would be similar in terms of cloning the hard drive and managing the booting sequence. So let's get started. First, we need to go to www.clonezilla.org. Scroll down and select Clonezilla Live. Next, go down to how to install Clonezilla Live and choose download an ISO file or CD DVD. From the live release, you need to select Stable. Here, you need just to select the file type instead of zip to ISO. Then, press Download. It will take you to another page that it will load in 5 seconds and it will start downloading the Clonezilla Live AMD64.ISO. Save that. Then go to google.com and search for Rufus. Open the link and scroll down to the download section and choose Rufus, the latest release. Download the application and once it has been completed downloading, install it on your machine. After this, open Rufus program. On the devices, make sure that you select and choose in the USB flash memory drive. And as I mentioned, it should be empty because Rufus will start formatting it with the Clonezilla software. Press select, choose the Clonezilla ISO image. Then press start. Now Rufus will prepare the USB with Clonezilla image to be used on the Steam Deck. Once it's finished, close the software. Then, eject the USB storage from Windows. Now we finished with the PC, let's shift to the Steam Deck. First, shut down your Steam Deck. After shutting down, press and hold the volume up button, and then click on the power button. Keep pressing the volume up button until you hear a chime. Once you hear it, remove your finger from the volume up button. Once you got on the screen, go to Boot Manager. Now, it will show you the EFI boot devices that you have. We need to go down and select our flash memory, which is SanDisk. Now, it will show the splash screen of Clonezilla. We choose the first option. Clonezilla now will start to load. Now choose the language, English, by press enter, and press enter again to keep the default layout. Choose Start Monzella, then select the first option, Device Image. Now we have to choose where we will save our image. We need to save it on our external hard disk, so we will choose the first one. Also we have option to save it on SSH server, Samba server, 
NFS server. But for us now, we will choose local device, which is hard drive. It will show us a screen that we can connect to the hard drive if it's not connected yet. So now it's updating periodically and scanning if there is any device have been connected. To close the screen, press Ctrl C. The system now will start to list all the disks and partitions connected to the Steam Deck. In this screen, we need to choose where we will mount our home drive for saving the image. Now Clonezilla is listing all the partitions that have been found on the Steam Deck. The first one is the memory card because I have an SD card inserted inside the Steam Deck. Next all the partitions which listed with NVMe is the internal storage partitions. As my external hard disk storage is partitions in two drive, it was listed at the bottom. I will choose the first partition to save the image on it. On this screen, it will ask us if we want to check and repair the file system before mounting the image repository. It's recommended to do it, but we will skip it for now. Now, it will ask us which directory that Clonezilla should be mounted for the image repository. So I will leave it as it is on the parent directory, as this will be the location the image will be saved on. Press the right arrow key and choose done. Now we need to press enter to continue. We will choose the first option which is beginner mode. Then we will choose Save Disk, Save Local Disk as an image. Now we need to give a name for our image. So I will write Steam Deck dash Backup. Then press OK. Now we need to choose which disk that we need to clone. So the first one is our micro SD card and the second one is our internal storage NVMe which hold our Steam Deck operating system and that one we need to take the backup off. We will choose it by pressing the spacebar and then press enter. Now it will ask us which compression format the image should be on. We will leave it as the first option. Next, it will ask us if we want to check and repair the file system before saving it. We will skip it for now. Then, it will ask us to check the saved image after we finish. It's recommended to do so, so we can make sure that it's restorable. Otherwise, you can skip it. But I recommend to check it after it finish. The next screen will ask us if we want to encrypt the image. We will leave it without encryption, by choosing the first option. And on the final screen it will ask us what action to perform when everything is finished. I prefer to choose the first one as we need to see everything is clear and if there is any log in the console. Once we choose that, we need to press OK. We need to press Enter to continue. Now Clonezilla will get all the information of all the internal NVMe partitions. and it will ask us if we want to proceed with the backup process. We need to press Y and press Enter to start. The backup process might take some time, so make sure that you plugged in your power adapter to the Steam Deck and sit back and relax until everything is finished and completed.
To restore the image, we need to follow the same steps to get our Steam Deck in the Boot Manager mode. And we need to boot again CloneZilla. We will follow the same steps as we done before. So let's fast forward that. When we reach the screen, which let us to choose what our mounting point for Clonezilla Images repository, we need to choose the same hard drive that we put our Steam Deck image on it. Then, we need to choose which directory is for the Clonezilla Image repository. We need to choose the directory from the root from outside, not selecting the image inside folder. So we have here our image, which we have created earlier. We need to press the right arrow key and choose done. Then again we need to choose beginner mode. Then on the next screen it will ask us what we need to do. We will see the option to restore an image to a local disk which is the third option, we need to choose that to restore our Steam Deck backup image back on the NVMe. Then, it will show us all the images in the repository, we will choose the image that we have created earlier. Next, it will let us to choose where we need to restore this image, so we will select the second option, the NVMe. Then, it will ask us if we want to check the image before restoring it, this might take some time, but as we have already verified it, during the backup process, we can skip this process for now. On the last screen, it will ask us what is the action to perform when everything is finished. We can either shut down, reboot, or keep it until everything is finished and we choose what is the proper option. For now, I will choose shutdown. Then, Clonezilla will start to build all the partition information and will start with the restore process. Once it's done, it will shut down Steam Deck and after you can open it again back on the original state of the same backup image you took. With that, we have completed our tutorial for today on how to backup and restore the internal NVMe of the Steam Deck. I hope you found this tutorial is useful. If so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for future Steam Deck videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.